Okay, so see, I'm doing the coin purse layout, and this is the way I do it for my coin purse. So what I usually do is start with grabbing my ruler and making a center line, so it'll be my guide, so then I can keep everything square. And I'm using the marker today because it's easier to see my lines and easy for it to show on camera. So just make my center line up and down, describe it, and you see the way the pencil look. From here, I want to measure two inches over from each side. So two inches one way, and then two inches to the other side. So it'll be four inches wide, and, and then I make my mark on each side, running parallel to the center line, so then I know where my line ran at. Then from here, I need to figure out the center of the purse. So I'll figure out a line in the middle of the paper, pick a point no matter where, just put I'm also using graph paper so it makes it easier to make everything square. So I'll measure over a half inch on both sides, give me that one inch bottom I do on my coin first and then mark it. So then I would need something Give me a bit of reference point from one side to one side. And then from here, I would measure three inches, but I want a little further. I want three and a half, but it should have been three inches. So in total, the whole thing would have been seven inches across, but it would be three inches and three inch. So I'll do a three inch mark on both sides. So I know the top of the purse because I'm going to use my protractor to get my curve on it. And I have my protractor. Protractor compass, I'm, I sound old. But my protractor is set to roughly four and a quarter, four, four and a half inches. So here I'm marking for you guys, bottom, side, side. So it doesn't really matter which is which, front, back. Just so you guys know how it's laid out. So now that I'm done with my marker, I can show you guys my compass I use, like I said, it's set to four and a half inches. So then I'll mark it. Well, here I marked it wrong because I don't know what I was thinking, trying to rush ahead and plan out what I'm doing, but it's set to three inches. So I'll set the pin to the mark there and I'll put the back of the compass on the center line that I have and mark my angle. I messed up. But it should have that half inch drop to the sides. So it should be three inches, and when it goes across the center line, it should be, I decided to have a half inch drop. And I do a half inch spacing. So from the center, then put the back, pivot, and I mark it. And then I drop it down half inch, two squares, set it, and mark it. So it gives me now a half inch border. For the top end, bottom or tops, I guess the tops. So now I'm gonna do it for the sides. Hold it here, measuring half inch, two squares, because this is quarter inch graph paper. And then I'll mark it on one side, and then I'll switch over and do the other side. Simple, easy. So then that gives me my border edge that I do. So then I have it set. So in total, it will be seven inches tall by four inches wide. And that'll be my beating area and my layout that I have for my coin purse with the half inch edging and the one in the center. Which, it depends on how you want to beat it, that's what it is. And all I do is simply tear it out and there you have it. You have it ready for you to sew on or cut to your fabric stabilizer or whatever you're going to be beating on so thank you like subscribe and hope you guys enjoyed my little video and my next one will be adding the pal on so later